Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to New Beginnings episode number five? Number six? Number five I think, number five. My apologies, I should really know. But we're carrying on with some Divisions. It's episode number five. <laughs> divisions gameplay. Um, it's still only Division 9. I'm not showing you all the goals from the games because there's a lot of them. Uh, I think generally I'm showing you the first three or four. Really, there's my corner technique. As per working a treat. Destroying. Uh, yeah, not much to say about this gameplay. It's um, Division 9. It's not hard at all uh, for me at least if some of you find it hard fair play just practice the game you will get better watch better people play you know go out watch the pros play uh, and I mean the real pros the guys who go to regionals and stuff not people on Twitter who claim to be pro because they hit top 100 once yeah don't don't watch them go and watch the real pros you know your huge grillers your tasses your Aldasaris, whoever else Hashtag Harry, go and watch them play. Watch what they do in the game, learn it, and that will help you get better. Yeah, this was just a uh, crapola gameplay. But in the episode, we will have some packs at some point. Because I took your advice, or all of you said, and we did the hybrid League and Nation SBC for any for about 12 to 15,000 coins. I can't exactly remember. But I've got a new team in mind, you'll see it in an upcoming episode. I haven't built it yet, I don't. I can't quite afford it yet. But I think it's nice, and it's what I want to do with this series, I think. It's make really different creative teams that aren't just the normal BPL, 41212, or French Mbappe, uh, Ousmane Dembele, Martial, 4321, you know, just the boring, generic crap you see in every game for me that's just the, that's just the worst thing to do in FIFA I understand it's competitive now it's not like it was uh, three four five years ago when people used to make interesting teams and have a bit of fun and used to come up against like silver and bronze teams although that was a bad time because I remember just dicking people I think it was FIFA 12 with just a bronze team with the boy Konecki if anyone knows Konecki the German striker bronze had like 94 pace. Phenomenal player. I miss him so much. I wonder if he's still in the game. Might have to find him. For a little throwback. He was He's my favourite ever player. And like the bronze Paul Pogba. The Juventus one. It was just absurd times. Really, really funny. That you could use just bronze teams and dick gold teams. Because first touch wasn't in the game. Pace was all that mattered. <laughs> just being able to run away from people. Was considered good enough to be able to beat them. It's interesting when you look back at how the game's changed. Like, now it's definitely more competitive. Like, people say gameplay is worse. In some aspects, I agree. Like, AI defending definitely made the game worse. But it's... It, you can't just sprint past people with bronze players and win anymore. Which is, in some ways, a shame, but in many ways, nice. It's interesting when you look back over at the various versions of FIFA, what's been overpowered. Pace has always been up there, but like even back to FIFA 14, for those of you that played, when you could just head it, when Andy Carroll was a viable striker, it's like, what? You look back at it now, and you're like, if that was today, how do you think people would react now with the competitive scene if you're losing to people just running down the wing, crossing it into Andy Carroll? They would go mental. It's so funny. People have such short memories. People consider this, they're like, this is the worst FIFA since since 1800 when FIFA didn't even exist. This is so bad. The Holocaust wasn't as bad as this FIFA. Oh my God. Come on, guys, really? Let's get over it. It's. I think it's the best FIFA I've played in a long time. Uh, my favourite was FIFA 14, actually. I thought the gameplay in FIFA 14 was phenomenal, except for headers. Like, if they'd kept the gameplay the same and just toned down headers, I thought that would have been a fine game. Absolutely. But they changed it. FIFA 15 was okay. 16 was okay. 17 is the worst one I've ever played by a mile. That was, that was the ultimate in letting bad people win. That was... We're going to open up this market and truly ruin the game for people that want to learn it and want to play it by just f giving AI defense 
completely just park the bus and let the AI do everything and that was just ugh. that's why I couldn't stand this game but yeah this game so much better I don't get the hate the AI defense it's annoying but it's not as bad as 17 it uh, for me patch one was okay day one first day whatever it was whatever you call it the first version of the game except long shots and goalkeepers needed fixing I, I, I was sick of losing to long shots but you still get that really long shots seem still ridiculous I think long shots should really be taken out of the game like, you shouldn't be able to score you should be able to get a corner but you shouldn't be able to score because the frequency that they happen in this game compared to real life and it's just it's not for me a way of a way that you should be able to win a game you shouldn't be able to shoot from a ridiculous distance without beating your opponent's defence. It's like, imagine if you're playing COD and you kill someone without firing your gun. Or you're playing COD and you're up against someone and they don't have a weapon. They can't attack you. They, they can't defend themselves. You know, it's like, you run around the corner and see someone and they don't have anything to attack. So that it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that you can beat them without them having to defend. Anyway, yeah. So we, uh, sorry for my little rant, my little, my little uh, uh, flashback to previous FIFA's. We've got the um, Finger Bobs, the Hybrid League and Nation SBC. You can copy my teams if you want. They were fairly cheap. This one didn't require any loyalty, which was nice. So we just went out and banged that one straight in there, getting us the rare gold pack. Uh, we'd already done the one previously. We've got the tough one coming up here. Uh, nope, that's the puzzler. Sorry. <laughs> A little bit of an editing snag here, yeah, by all means copy that, that didn't need loyalty either, um, but yeah, the price you actually have to pay to do these now is ridiculous value for money, like you get, uh, what, 120k's worth of packs for about 13,000 coins, you have to do loyalty on some of them, I had to do loyalty on this one and that's a pain in the ass. um, I don't really get why EA do that, it's like, nobody's actually going out and playing these games EA, you're just really making us take a, like 15 minutes to do it we're not going out and playing 10 games or opening packs to get these players it's i don't know i don't really understand it at all we had those two of course sell which allowed us to fund this some bronze packs and then just uh we had to buy a different ben Yedda because i needed one at striker not center forward and we've just got our leftover crappy golds there and anyway, as we complete the last one here, that is it. We are done. We're going to go and get into the live reaction of the packs. All right, then, guys. So the SBCs are done. We are here. We have the six packs. We got two from uh, weekly objectives that we managed to finish just in time. We're going to start out with these because they are undoubtedly going to be absolute carp. So first one, not a board. Oh, not even a shiny gold. Useless waste of time. Absolutely terrible. Of course, the, um, what are they called? Let's just call them green one to watches. What is it, path to, path to glory or path to the same card in a worse position? No. Ah, oh, not even a shiny gold once. Terrible from those. Hopefully we're getting the bad luck out of the way early. And we're going to pick up some big players now in these packs. Ooh. We're going to start out with a premium gold because that's always crap. Premium gold players. 25k pack. Oh, we got a flare. We got a flare. We got a flash. Oh, it's an inform. Even better. Who's that? Italy? Left forward. Who is that? Is that Sansoni? That's not bad. That isn't bad at all. He's actually got a nice card. And potentially could use him in the team at striker. Or maybe sell him. Let's see. Let's see. Just Sansoni in there, but still, he's got nice stats. Mmm. Three star skills, though. That's not great. What does he go for? I can't imagine much. 15k? That's, that's still, you know, we'll take it. What are his stats in games? Oh, he's actually, he's actually got really nice stats, in fairness. We might whack him up front. Been meaning to get rid of uh, Muriel, who is utter crap. So that's a good start. We're one in form from one of these packs. We'll do the rare gold next. We just want boards. Boards are all I want. And I don't get a board, of course. Oh, yay. Why you do this to me? Why you do this? Who's that? Ugh, big, big no hands. Trash. Absolute crap. Yeah. Wow. How is Denmark's away kit a rare gold? Nobody's after that that much, let's be honest. 
and a couple of crappy position modifiers as well, so that's crap. So we've got our mega pack and then we've got our 50k pack, that's what we're banking on. One of these has surely got to give me a flare. Oh, we get one, we get one out of the mega pack, decent. It's just a regular gold though. Poland? Oh, glick. I wonder what he's going for now, I wonder if they've updated his price range. It's better than, better than nothing, but it's not. Not what we're looking for. It'll give us a good chunk of... Oh, and a Willian and a Klein. That's a good pack. What's Glick going for these days? Oh, it's come down in price. Like 8k, maybe? But what is Willian going for? Oh, my God. He's only 8k as well. When did he get so cheap? I swear he was like 50k not long ago. Nathaniel Klein. 1,500 coins, man. Might be time to go for a BPL team if they're that cheap. Beta female there. And nothing else in the kit. Discard that Chelsea crap. But still, that's not it's not too bad so far from these packs. We'll decide what we're going to do with Glick and Willian. There might be a nice SBC. Alright, the 50k now. I'm pretty sure last time I opened this I got Shevchenko in it. So just give me a flare. If I don't get a board out of this I'm going to be so gutted. Yes, it's a board at least. It's not, not an icon, so it's not as good as it was on PC. Oh, God. <laughs> dear, 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 dear. What utter garbage matter in there as well. Oh, that's so disappointing. What does he go for? 4K. What's Bernatia now like? Probably about half a coin, something like that. Two and a half K. Oh, that's so gutting. I really thought I was going to get one of those uh, Path to Glory cards. Sadly, I was mistaken, clearly. Anyway. Uh, so annoying. Well, that's going to be the end of the packs, guys. Um, thanks for watching. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later.